In West Baltimore, it can be hard to find farm fresh produce like this. I make available the green beans, tomatoes, and potatoes we have, usually onions and cucumbers and squash. That one right there. Westminster farmer well, Debbie like Hansen has stand. set up her stand at the Jenkins Senior Living Community, okay. serving residents like Mel Hen. I love the local peaches and uh, the friendliness of the people here. It's food for the body and the soul. Biting into a peach at the height of summer, that can trigger a lot of memories from your childhood, from your adulthood, sharing that type of food with your children. So there's really a lot that um, connects elders and food together. Markets like this are critically needed in urban areas. In Baltimore City, there's a real challenge. So we talk about food deserts where access is just not there. So farmers markets like this bring this great healthy produce uh, locally produced uh, to people who won't otherwise have the access. Maryland Hospitals for a Healthy Environment has organized more than 20 markets like this around the state, targeting underserved communities that need better access to fresh foods. We define healthier foods as foods that are not only more whole and nutritious, but foods that are also from a food system that's environmentally sound, economically viable, and socially responsible. It's a win-win. Thank you. Appreciate it. For farmers like Debbie Hansen. I'm privileged. I think it's great to be able to do this. And they're happy customers. For the University of Maryland School of Medicine, I'm Larry Roberts.